Welcome to the video lecture series of theory of computation. Today we are going to learn about the designing of PDA for the language which accept the A raised to N, B raised to N, M plus N, C raised to M where N is greater than equal M comma N is greater than equal to 1. I am your instructor Poonam Patel. Let's start to understand this topic. So here in this example we need to construct a PDA designing a PDA for the language which accept this string a raised to n, b raised to m plus n, c raised to m where n comma n is greater than or equal to 1. Now here the same we have to compare uh, compare these symbols. So here there is a single comparison between b and a and c. So here the number of b should be equal to the number of a plus number of c's counting of number of a plus counting of number of c's so here we have to compare this thing so for a b what uh, how we can perform so for this example how we can decide this is the valid string or not so by, by counting okay so in a string if the counting of a and c are equivalent to a counting of b we can say that this is a valid string so for this we are we need to perform a push operation and pop operation with the help of sec okay now the question is arise for a which symbol we are performing a push operation and for what symbol we are performing a push operation pop operation okay so here you can see for this what we are going to do so first of all we take we need to take a one valid string so here i am taking one valid string m equal to 3 n equal to 3 so the counting of a is 3 b is 6 c plus 3 and c is uh, 3 okay power of uh, power of c is n where m where m is equal to 3 so always remember before designing a pda first of all we take the valid string and the length should be a uh, not uh, we need to pick the minimum length string but we have to pick up uh, some larger values so you so for taking this values we can cover up all the possible transitions so that's why we have to take some larger values so i am not taking the minimum length of string like n equal to 1 m equal to 1 so taking some larger so it include all the possible transitions okay now how we can decide it the how we can decide it uh, for what symbol we have to perform a push operation and what symbol we have to perform a pop operation so if you the string is counting of a counting of a okay plus counting of b here we have to consider the half b equal to counting of half b over here plus counting of c so can we write down like this so if you see our valid string the counting of a is 3 plus counting of b half okay so number of b is divided by 2 so it contains 3 it equal to 6 so the remaining b is 3 and the counting of c is 3 so why i am going to write down this so you can if you see the equal to left side values we are performing a push and pop operation both okay so for this uh, example for this we are performing a push operation okay because initially stack containing z0 so we do not need to so we cannot perform a pop operation because not any symbol onto the stack so obviously we have to perform for a first symbol push operation now this see now we have to perform a pop operation okay so the number of a is equal to for this half number of b's okay for this half now for this what we are going to do for this operation for this we have to perform a push operation and for c we are using pop operation so 
सो नंबर ऑफ पुश इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ पॉप नंबर ऑफ पुश इज इक्वल टू पॉप सो एट द एंड नल एंड सेक कंटेनिंग इज दैट जीरो सो इन दिस वे वी कैन थिंक अबाउट दिस वी कैन से दैट थिंक अबाउट द लॉजिक ओके सो इफ यू सी वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू सो फॉर अ फर्स्ट ए वी आर परफॉर्मिंग अ पुश ऑपरेशन सो हियर यू कैन सी इनिशियली सेक कंटेनिंग इज दैट जीरो now i am going to read a first a so input is a here i am writing down the transition so you can get the clear cut idea about this now my input top of the stack and push or pop now i am going to read first a okay so my input is a my input is a topmost symbol initially what it containing z0 so initially it's z0 what we are going to do we are performing a push operation so here you can see insert a, a onto the stack now so what stack containing after inserting this input symbol into topmost symbol z0 okay now second a input is a now if you see topmost symbol is what stack containing right now a so after pushing a onto the stack what is the topmost symbol is containing so here double a now next a pushing the symbol onto the stack same thing input is a topmost symbol a performing a push operation so for a we are performing a push operation what are the possibility topmost symbol stack containing either z0 or either topmost symbol containing a so all the possibility for a input a we have mentioned now if we are going to read b so what the possibility the valid string may contain so input is b so input is b okay topmost symbol a what logic we have decided for this b we are performing a pop operation okay so here you can see <coughs> sorry so for a b so for input b topmost symbol a what we are going to do we are performing a pop operation so here you can see null and our stack is deleting the topmost symbol of this stack okay now next so this is completed now next again second b deleting the topmost symbol from the stack now same thing is repeated input is b topmost symbol a performing the push operation now next b input is b topmost symbol a what we are going to do removing the symbol Topmost symbol from the stack. The same thing is repeated. Okay. Now, now stack is empty. Now input is B. Now we have to write down because this is a different transition, not repeated transition. So input is B. Stack stack containing Z zero. What we are going to do? We are performing a push operation. B Z zero. So here we can see. inserting the b onto the stack and performing a push operation okay now next b so input is b pushing this symbol onto the stack okay so now stack is containing two b okay now last b same input is b topmost symbol b what we are going to do we are performing a same transition performing a push operation okay now c input is c what we are going to do so we are performing a push operation sorry pop operation input is c topmost symbol what it containing b always remember it always containing a b if it is valid string so what we are going to do performing a pop operation so same way you can see deleting this thing okay 
सेम नेक्स्ट इनपुट इज सी टपो सिंबल बी परफॉर्मिंग अ पॉप ऑपरेशन इनपुट इज सी टपो सिंबल बी परफॉर्मिंग अ पॉप ऑपरेशन लाइक दिस सो सेम वे सो नंबर ऑफ सी आर थ्री एंड नंबर ऑफ बी बिफोर सी इज थ्री सो एट द एंड ऑफ स्ट्रिंग ए so we have to mention this transition for accepting the string null z0 is z0 as it is does not need to change under the stack for this operation so 3 is push operation 3 b is pop operation again 3 b we perform push operation Again, three C pop operation. Okay, okay. So this B is divided into operation. It perform a pop operation and then performing a push operation. So this is all possibility we have included all the transition for a valid string. Okay, so I hope this logic is clear to you. Now, how we can write down the transition table? So as we know transition table containing a five things moves number state number input topmost symbol and moves okay so initially initial uh, state is q1 input is a stack containing z0 what we are going to do we are performing a push operation so here you can see self loop it containing same state it say q1 a z0 it say Q1 and performing a push operation A Z0. Now next is state is Q1, input is A, top of this stack is again A. Okay, and we are moving the same state Q1 and performing a push operation. So here we have to mention double A Q1 comma double A. Now if B is appeared input, so Q1 state input is B. if top of this stack a we have to perform a pop operation and moving to the another state so q2 are used performing a pop operation for a b input so again q2 whenever the input b comes if my top of this stack is a what we are going to do we are performing a pop operation so q2 now now if state is my q2 if input is b but top of this stack z0 it means that stack is empty okay so what we are going to do we are performing a push operation so for this push operation what we are going to do we are moving the another state which are used for a b input mentioning the push operation so here you can see like this okay now again if my input my state is q2 input is b top most symbol is again b so b is repeated if any number of b is come what we are going to do? we have to perform a push operation okay so q3 state b comma b double b self loop containing same state we have to now right now we are state at q3 if we are going to read the input c and top most symbol b so for input c we are performing a pop operation so c comma b performing a pop operation for this operation we are changing the state okay so state q4 are used for input c okay so here q4 comma null now again c is repeated if input b is uh, uh, if top most symbol is b okay so mentioning the self loop same thing is repeated more than one time so input is c top most symbol is b so we are performing a pop operation and same state we have to mention q4 comma null if at the end of if we are at state q4 if input is null top of the stack z0 we are moving the final state okay it means that stack is empty now stack contain only z0 so for this operation we are performing a skip operation in this skip operation it means that whatever the symbol uh, stack containing top most symbol is skip skip as it is so q4 uh, sorry q5 comma z0 so in skip operation we have to mention only first top most symbol only okay so it will remain as it is before the operation and after the operation so okay so it moves the final state q5 so in this way we can perform this operation and designing the pda so i hope 
this concept is clear to you thank you all